Yum, yum. Hey, friends, y'all come on in the house with me. Uh, today, I'm getting ready. I got a friend coming over, and we're going to have a little picnic. Let me tell you, there's so many fabulous places in this town to have a picnic. But Sandy and I are just actually going to walk out to the dock house, and we're going to have a little picnic out there. The first thing I'm going to fix us is one of my grandson, Jack's, recipe that was in his daddy's cookbook, Jamie Dean's Good Food, and you flip it over, and uh, my grand grandson has his recipes in here. So we are doing frozen chocolate bananas from Jack's book. I thought that would give Sandy and I a little something sweet to eat without being loaded with too many calories, and we won't need a spoon. I'm gonna cut these right down the middle and I'm just gonna stick the stick up them just like that. And I'm gonna stick it up the, uh-oh, kinda went crooked with that one. Stick one to come out the side of him. So I'm gonna throw these in the freezer, give them about 30 minutes. And while those are freezing, I'm gonna start on the rest of the meal. So I'm gonna start with some fresh asparagus. And I'm just doing enough for the two sandwiches, but while we're standing up here talking about asparagus, I see a lot of people just cut the asparagus, but I don't like doing that way. I like snapping it because it will snap where it's supposed to. Now, I blanch mine in nice salty water but I also put smashed garlic in there to just kick up the flavor of these little asparagus. So these, you, you don't wanna overcook them. It doesn't take them but a second. And I wanna shock them so that that color will get nice and a vibrant green. So I got these rolling good, cause we're actually gonna do two cookings. We're blanching them and then I'm gonna grill them. It's just been crazy how much people have liked this sandwich. And you know, it, it's just a little healthier if you're trying to stay away from a lot of protein. Somebody just asked me just then where the recipe come from. And you know, I don't rightly remember, but I'm thinking my niece, actually, Kari, went to a little restaurant down in Thomasville. And she was telling me about an asparagus sandwich they had. So she described it to me. And so I kind of came up with my own thing. So this is what we got. Oh, my fruits are so pretty. You know, they're, the fruit is just coming in like crazy off my trees. In fact, I'm gonna fix us some lemonade uh, to drink, the Meyer lemons. You know, I, I, can't, I can't recommend enough for you to put your lemon tree in your yard because they are just the most delicious lemon in the world. All right, and to go with our sandwich, I'm gonna make a rice salad and I thought I would put it in one of my little mason jars and we'd just eat it straight out of that. So, I have cooked off, I think it was a cup of raw rice. Cause I'm just making just enough of this for Sandy and me. So this is kind of a recipe that you just do what you want to. You know, it's... <laughs> and I got to figure out all I want to do with it. So I'm going to take a quick break and get my thoughts together, and then we'll come back and we'll make a nice little rice salad. Okay, so in case y'all just found me, I want to tell you what I'm doing. My girlfriend Sandy's coming over and we're going to walk out to the dock house. And we just have a little picnic and kind of just eat out under the sky today. And, um, I'm doing my grandson Jack's recipe for chocolate 
frozen bananas, and I'm making a rice salad, but our entree is gonna be an asparagus sandwich. I'm gonna show you how we make those sandwiches that we serve at the Lady and Sons that everybody loves so, so much. So I'm trying to get all this ready before Sandy gets here. And so I'm making the, um, the sauce that I'm going to use on my rice salad. And I think I'm going to go ahead and just put the onion in there. I'm not going to put it in my sauce, just in case I don't like the way my sauce tastes. I need a little um, oil. I'm going to use just a little vegetable oil for this. And I'm going to stir this up and just see what we got. Ooh, y'all, that tastes real good. So, so far, I've got mayonnaise in it, a little vegetable oil, celery seeds, celery salt, seasoning salt, lemon juice, and now I think I'm gonna add just a little bit of honey to give it a little sweet. Maybe just like a tablespoon. And I've got my green onions and I've just cooked off some white rice. Um, when I was operating just the bag lady, I used to make so many rice salads. And I know I made one chicken and rice salad with an avocado dressing. People just love that one. You know, you don't think of, especially Southerners, we don't think about having a, a rice salad because we're usually eating it with gravy and butter. All right. That's very good, y'all. Okay, so I'm gonna put a boiled egg in this, and this is the way I do my eggs. I don't chop them, I just squeeze them. All right, and I've got some green peas, and I'm not even cooking them, they're just frozen green peas. Now I'm gonna put a green, a nice tart green apple and I had that in uh, fruit fresh, or you can put it in orange juice, grapefruit juice, anything with some acid, because I don't want my apple to turn brown on me. So like I said, I use a little fruit fresh. You buy it in the canning section at your grocery store. And I want to find me some nice um, kind of cracked black pepper. Here it is, it's a coarse. I like using the coarse. There we go. Oh, and I'm gonna put some red bell pepper in it. Just for color. And remember, when you're cutting your bell pepper, you know, to make sure you got it on the right side. All right, oh, and I got nuts up here. I'm gonna put some nuts in it too. I think that'll be real good. You know, with a rice salad, it's just like potato salad or pasta salad. Just use your imagination and put the things that your tongue likes. All right, so this is walnuts. I'm gonna put these chopped walnuts in it. And I was starting out doing a small salad and look how it's growing, y'all. Put this in our little bowls that we're gonna eat it out of. Put this in the refrigerator and let it be chilling. I tell you what, I'll, I'll put a little piece of parsley up there for decoration. And we are ready to go. Now you can't get any easier than that. And all the things we put in it, most people have in their refrigerator. That's great, isn't it? Okay, hey y'all. I'm trying to get our lemon juice done. I'm waiting on Sandy to get here. Um, she's so pretty and she's always late. I have to tell y'all, she's on. I thought I heard the clippity-clop of your little boots. You finally got up. Oh, yeah. 
Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. I am so delighted to introduce y'all to my friend and my girlfriend-in-law. This is Sandy Neville, Bubba's girlfriend. And Sandy uh, lives in Tennessee. And she actually stayed in our little cottage out here. So you finally got up and got in here. But you look beautiful. Well, I had to get my wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get uh, some I don't know what I'd do without Sandy. She is so much help in this kitchen. So I'm making us a so pick sweet. a neck. All right, now I need to get started. I, I'm just doing us mm -hmm. a little frozen banana. Okay. I think I'm using a combination of walnuts and pecans. So mm. I want you to, I don't know if you've got a copy of this book, but it's right in there. Oh, okay. You know, the cookbook that Jamie and Jack wrote together? Yeah, I gave a copy of this to my grandson. Did had, you? Uh, had Jack sign it. He said he could oh. get into that. <laughs> Jack loves really to go excited. to book signings with me. He loves it. Look at this banana, y'all. Doesn't that look <sighs> delicious? Uh oh yeah. no! <laughs> Came off the stick. Okay, it's a that, beautiful book, though, isn't, isn't it? it beautiful? Mm -hmm. And that's where Love his little it. recipe came from. All right, I'm going to stick this back in the freezer, and we'll pull this out last, Cindy. Mm. All right, say so the sugar's dissolved now real good. It is. Yeah, because I tasted it, and I threw some extra sugar over in there. All right, so I'm going to... Just pour that in there. If you get rid of that, don't burn yourself. Now we may have to, uh, oh gosh, I'm mixing flavors. <laughs> I just washed my hands, I thought I, oh no, am I let, <laughs> I think I just poured all the seeds in there. Just a no, few. No, not, yeah, just a few. You wanna work on getting those out. Mm -hmm. Here, how about with that spoon? Yeah. Perfect. So, Hire the girls. Oh, they're great. They're doing oh, good, so good. Oh, good, good. Sandy's got two beautiful daughters, and she's got three of the cutest little grandsons you have ever seen in your life. Oh, I yeah. wish you'd show them the picture. It's on your iPad that I love oh, yeah. all of them. With them laying the in the bed. The three of them laying in the bed. Oh, um, yeah, and they just think Aunt Paula is <laughs> the bomb. Well, I They think... just can't understand why your picture's on magazines. And they can't. You see on TV. <laughs> Why, why is Aunt Paula famous? Is she famous? <laughs> I asked myself the same question. <laughs> so I'm going to turn that off and let it sit for just a second. But I don't want it to overcook. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to make our dressing, Sandy. All right, we're ready. I've got our bread here. Oh. And like pretty, I said, normally we would bread. put this together and toast it. And this is what we serve. We serve it on pumpernickel. So I'm just going to be. Oh. There was a hole in that piece of bread. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's going through. All right. Now I take my asparagus and I put some on there, turning it one way. And then I turn it the other way. So on each sandwich, you can see the pretty spears. Mm. All right, Sandy. So there we go. We're going to put our provolone cheese oh, on it. put cheese then. And see, this is when we would grill it. You know, and that cheese kind of melt. So what are you going to do? We're just going to eat it like, like this. That? Yes. Because well, the asparagus is still hot, so it'll melt yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it'll melt it. a little bit. Yes. And then we're just going to put our onion on there. Oh, yeah, I'm glad that's not red onion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. So here we go. I want to make sure my bread matches. Mmm. Yum. We are ready to go. Our picnic is finally ready, y'all. And uh, as I was saying earlier, there are so many wonderful places to have a picnic here in this town, starting from the beach all the way to one of the forts. Uh, but where I'm gonna take Sandy and y'all today on our picnic is right here in our backyard.
Well, let's go, sister. We all got right. it all ready. Let's do it. Uh, how's the weather out? It's pretty chilly. So oh, it might, is. Yeah. Well, I'm going yeah, to grab me a jacket then. Oh, yeah. uh, good idea. And we got a blanket in case we wind up sitting on the floor, but... Okay, I'll grab I it. don't want to sit on the floor. Too hard to get up. I'd need <laughs> a crane to get me <laughs> up. Uh -huh. <laughs> don't want to be calling I don't no think crane it'd be... service. Okay, I'll get Come the blanket. Come on, Sandy Lou. In case. All right, you guys ready for a picnic? Oh, gosh. Oh, so pretty. So beautiful down here. So pretty. Hopefully, uh, we'll have so some dolphins pretty. swim by. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Ooh, yes, I love that. That's so great. All right, I'm going to oh, make yourself Lula's comfortable, ready. Lulu. <laughs> make yourself comfortable. Lulu's <laughs> ready. All right. Sweet girl. There's our dessert. to try it. Mmm. Lulu. Lulu. Lulu sees a sucker every time. Well, she loves you so much, Sandy. I know. This is so good. All these flavors together. I'm so glad. And this is one of those dishes that you can make it any flavor you want to. Mm. No, you can make it Asian, you could make it Greek, you could make it Mediterranean. Oh, oh that would be really good. I would mm -hmm. love that. Mm-hmm. I kind of made it just American. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Yum. Get that piece of onion on. I'm going to get a bite off of the side with the... Mm-hmm. What? What do you call that? Mm. <laughs> that sweet onion is so good on mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And the dressing. Mm. So good. Mm. Isn't it delicious? It is delicious. I can't stand oh. it, Sandy. I got to. <laughs> I've got to taste my frozen banana, Jack's frozen banana. Mm. Oh look. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Yeah, it's time. Mmm, it's not ice cream. Mmm. <laughs> the banana. Mmm. When it freezes, it's got the consistency of ice cream. Oh. Mmm. Well, you want a bite, huh? Do you want mm. a bite? Yum. Mmm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Isn't that yummy? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Is that we one? We got one. No, I think it's a bird. Oh. You know, I know you and I have the same taste in food, so I feel like if I like it, I know that you you'll know like it. it. Yeah. Oh, and um, I need to remind you to remind me I've got a bunch of collards ready in the garden. Oh, we'll cook them. We need to go cut collards oh, this afternoon absolutely. and get a pot of collards going, and I'll make us some lace hoe cake cornbread to go with it. Oh. And we'll eat like a queen for oh, supper, yeah. honey. <laughs> oh, for sure. I hope y'all have enjoyed your time with us today. and. You know, I want to encourage you, just if you don't go any further than your backyard, make you a little picnic lunch and go out with a family or friend and just enjoy the out of doors. And uh, you know, I'm always going to be there to uh, send you off with love and best dishes. Sandy, thank you, baby, for coming to see Bubba off and for being who you are. And thank y'all for being who you are. <laughs> Thank you no. for feeding me. <laughs> You're welcome. So well. <laughs> I love feeding you.
made.